Um, it is my distinct pleasure on behalf of the Vice Chancellor and President of the University of the South Pacific to welcome you to Samoa campus and to this <coughs> event. Um, it's something that we don't usually do, but we thought that it was high time that it is something that we start featuring um, in our marketing and in our engagement with the community. We understand the role of the media, and it is an extremely important role, not just for providing the news, but also for a strong democratic uh, nation and strong democratic process. It is very important that the media is well informed of all the different uh, developments that will improve not only um, education on this particular occasion, but in all the other ripples of society that your work and your service actually touch. And so I thank you once again for accepting the invitation to attend. And um, the format for today is a simple format. Um, the uh, Vice Chancellor and President, Professor Aluwalia, has a few announcements that he will make. And I know that this will springboard into other areas that the different media outlets are most welcome to uh, ask questions about for elaboration so that we can continue to push out the information for this uh, aspect of Samoa's services for the education of our country. I know that I'm preaching to the choir about the importance <coughs> of education and the value of having options. And that's always been USP's stance, is that we are an option, not, a competition, not the competition, but an option. Uh, we are a regional university, and so it's important that we offer those opportunities to our students and just our people in general, because it's not just the year 13s that attend um, the University of the South Pacific. But without further ado, I'll hand it over to Professor. Thank you very much, Professor, for his comments. Uh, thank you, Afi, and um, uh, talo falawa, everybody. I'm really pleased uh, to be speaking to you. I apologize a little bit. I have a touch of laryngitis. So, uh, so please bear with me. Uh, I hope I'm, I'm coming through loud and clear. Um, first of all, I want to say that uh, this is a very exciting week for USP. Uh, as we have graduations here on Friday, and uh, the whole week sort of been quite busy with many of our heads of school coming in from Fiji. Uh, our council secretary has just arrived, so um, so this is it's been a very busy week for all of us here. But uh, it's also a very exciting week, and one of the the highlights, of course, is that as you know, the chancellorship of the USP rotates every every year, and so no government really, or no country gets a chancellor for, after they've served for another 12 years. So it's our turn, Samoa. Samoa is the, going to be the chancellor, uh, and the uh, head of state will be installed at the graduation ceremony on, um, on Friday as the next chancellor of the University of South Pacific, which is a, a really big thing. But I think it's even bigger for us because never in the history has a regional campus had both the chancellor and the vice chancellor uh, at the same location. Um, I mean, they've had them in, in Fiji in a way, but never have they had a regional campus where both the chancellor and the vice chancellor belong to that, uh, you know, as, as I am now really located in Samoa. This is a very big, big thing, and I think it's, uh, it's, it, we're really excited um, and, you know, we're getting a lot more. As I've said in the past, we're trying to do a lot more things. And, and you'll see already that um, the hard work that my colleagues, particularly the campus director and, and all the people seated, seated here have done, means that the diversity we're going to have at this graduation uh, shows just what's been happening at, uh, at, at, this, at our Samoa campus. Uh, I think the government had very good foresight a couple of years ago when they asked that the name of the campus of USP be changed from Alafua to the Samoa campus. And I think 
when, when I share with you some of the statistics in a minute, you'll see that, uh, that that was a very apt decision because we do a lot more than agriculture here at the campus. And of course, uh, we have many plans to expand into new areas and we want to really make sure that many people can study here uh, rather than having to travel all the way to Fiji, at least to some of their study, study here. Um, this is a really big graduation in terms of numbers itself for us. Uh, you know, it, it might not seem like big numbers compared to other places, but for us, having 270 graduates in our campus uh, on, um, in our graduation on Friday is a huge uh, achievement. Especially given the pandemic, we haven't had any face-to-face -face graduations here <coughs> since the, uh, the, the outbreak and, and since the, uh, the lockdown. So this is a, a really big opportunity for us to really celebrate the success of our students. And for me, graduation above anything else is about our student success. And it's our students who are our biggest ambassadors. They're the ones who are going to come out of this uh, great premier institution of the Pacific and uh, make a difference to their communities. And so it's a real opportunity for families, for communities to, who've invested a lot in, um, in, in you know, their, their children, their, their um, you know, partners, their, their husbands, their wives, their, their fathers, their sisters, you know, their uncles, etc. So I think this is, this is something that's very important to celebrate with the community, uh, the success of our, our wonderful students. I think one of the highlights for me is the, the role of USP as a capacity building institution in the Pacific. And uh, when I looked at the figures and I saw that there will be 27 uh, people who will graduate with an MBA, that really resonated with me that we are really doing the job that we claim that we should be doing. Uh, and uh, to have 27 new MBAs within the country is a huge accomplishment. And I really congratulate every one of those graduates, uh, you know, um, and I'll say more about them on, on Friday in the, at the graduation, but it's just such an honor to be part of a celebration where so many people will be taking that um, capacity and, and investing it back within our country and in the, in the economy. It's also really pleasing that we have, um, you know, uh, Tokelau doesn't have a, it's not very easy for them to have a graduation, they're small, so we always have Tokelau students graduate with us and it's really pleasing that they will be with, with us again at this, uh, at this ceremony. I think that's a, it's a really huge um, you know, um, it's a really huge compliment to, to how Tokelau has managed, and how it, it continues to, uh, you know, provide um, an excellent education to its citizens. Um, it'd be remiss of me if I didn't say a, a couple of things about the university. Uh, you know, we are once again um, recognized as amongst the top 10% of universities in the world. Uh, I think I've said this before, we don't just t chase rankings for the sake of rankings. Rankings are there to really validate the excellence that we try and inculcate in our university. And uh, it's very good when somebody externally validates you. And there's no better way of, uh, of, of you know, being told that you're part of the, the 10% uh, in the world. There are about just over 20,000 universities in the, um, in the handbook of global universities, which is run by the UN. And, uh, and you know, for us to be amongst the 1,000 to 1,200 universities in the world um, is, is really quite a remarkable thing. And of course, <coughs> this year, we were also ranked in the Times Higher Education Impact Rankings. And most recently, uh, we were again ranked by the World Universities uh, for Impact, where we ranked uh, number 12 in the world for crisis management and also we're amongst the 100 to 200 universities in the world seen as being the most innovative. So I say that because you know we our se second semester will be starting next week 
or albeit that the first day of the semester is a public holiday in Samoa, we won't let that deter us. Uh, as a father, I know it's very important that we need to celebrate Father's Day. And, um, and you know, we need to uh, wish all fathers, uh, you know, the, the best for Father's Day and, you know, give them an opportunity to spend some time with their, with their children. Um, so, uh, I think the, the big message I wanted to give really is that the campus is open, it's looking fantastic. Uh, you know, we're putting a lot of effort into making sure the student experience is really, really excellent here. And, uh, you know, not only do we have very good academic programs, but of course we try and do as much as we can uh, with the, the other things that, are, that happen that are part of being a part of a, a, a USP Ainga. And so, you know, we have a gym, we have, you know, beautiful fields. And one of the most amazing things about this campus, of course, is that we have many students from different parts of the region and overseas studying in here, which makes, uh, which makes this a very vibrant community. <clears throat> and I have to say that um, that's been one of USP's um, major accomplishment in its, you know, 50 odd years of existence is that so many of the, the, the regional leaders come from USP and many of them have studied on this campus and have that very fond memory of meeting people. Some even, you know, end up getting married. Uh, there is this kind of very uh, interesting amalgamation of cultures uh, that, that happens here on the campus. Um, we're also really pleased that, you know, we're, we're expanding all the time in Savai. We're making sure that our center in Savai uh, is linked better and has, uh, has more opportunities for our students in Savai to study. And so we are really pushing on that front. We're trying to make sure that for those <coughs> where it's difficult to come all the way to Apia, that they can study from Savai, and, and those opportunities are there. And as I said before, uh, there's so many more opportunities. Uh, you know, it's not just agriculture that you can study here. And I think when the, the campus director maybe can give us some details about our graduates, uh, you'll see the diversity that I've talked about. So I want to just really say, you know, please make USP your, uh, you know, university of choice. Um, once you're here, it's our duty to make sure that you succeed. It's our duty to help you uh, with the trials and tribulations of being a university student. But it's uh, probably one of the most exciting things that you can do. And what better time than to study now uh, as we are in a post-COVID-19 recovery phase. Um, and finally, I think I just want to say something about, uh, you know, the fee arrangements we've made. We realize not everybody can afford a university e education immediately. So we've got many kind of ways in which people can enroll. <coughs> and I will encourage you to contact our campus director to, uh, to see what sort of arrangements can be made. And now my final, final statement <coughs> is that uh, in November, this year, our council meeting will be held in Samoa, which is fantastic, which means that all the ministers from our 12 member countries, including heads of state, like the Prime Minister of Tonga, Minister for Education, and the President of Nauru, who is the Minister of Education, will be here. And we'll be, um, we'll be having that meeting here on the 10th and 11th of November. I'll stop there. Uh, I'd like to add some comments, but uh, I'll, I'll use someone <coughs> so that we can um, balance it out. Water has been coming for the past hour, so <laughs> I think they're, they're drawing it from the well of eternal life, which is a bit far, far away. E a matai le sāmi ngā loa ia i le se fulu i le tāi au, e whātau nu ina tātou whā moe moe i le mautou tupulanga le e whākāsā i mulinu. O le tūlanga le ana tā ua o le āwea o le āwhae e ia le au le investe o le pasifika i saute i le au ma malu an malo sā moa. O se tūlanga e se le tā ua le ia i mātou le ngā lulua i nei le tātou lau moe sā moa. 
Ei mai se lava ono le tu langa le o se universitele nei. E patino lava ilo tato wa tunu. Ai wa lo tau sanga o peye e fa e peye tilo tilo ese ya e pe fa ese ili sila sila tato wa tunu. Ai o pine fa ama o le tu langa le o te fa aso a tuai. O sui o le tato wa tunu. Ile fono le ta ua le lau sui nei ia no vema. I nei sa moa mo le pese fono sili a toa le a le Universite o le Pasifika i saute. O a tato sui, o le a fionga ili ministra o a onga. Ia ma le pule sili, o le mitanga aluenga o tupe. O sui a ia na ia ia ma ili amatanga. Ai mai se lava ili vai tau le a na tau ma fai a ina ia sui a le ingoa ma ili lau moa i ala fua. A nga e ili lau mua o sa mua ia. O le fe aula le eta o ma fai e moli moli a tupea. O le manatu ina ia fa alau tele le ingoa o le lau mua. Ina ia sila fia a ia le mamalu le a tunu. E mo e o nei na pina fa avaya tua ia le awa o nga fa ato anga. Ma ili a vese a ili ta aua o le a tulanga. A o lo o maua fo ili ava noa ea o ta wina e iisi ma ta upo le poto salalau. E peila o le mata upule na ta ua o le whailonga le o le Masters of Business Administration, in Business Administration. O e o le afa ua to o luas fulu ma le fitu. E o mai mai pisinisi tu ma oti, mai o mai mai mata anga luenga e se e se le maa lo. Te ilo la i ai i le mata anga luenga e pule ai o tato waf. E i fo e nisi o lo o mai mai isi mata anga luenga tau tupe. Ai mai se fo'i ia le fale tupe, fale tupe ese ese, ia fa ape fo'i ia ala fa salalau e peo tivi tas. E to otele ala ia, ia, ia tamali o le atunu olo, ma fai ona o tawina, ai sila sila mai, ele o se fa'i longa fa'avai, o le fa'i longa e sili atu o le masters. Ai e ese fo'i le tau o le tūlanga i le fa'i longa le, peo na sao no ia le afionga le polo ofesa, i le tūlanga aloa ia. O le ae la ala ai luma le Universite al Pasifika i saute. Le ua i se etasi o Universite es full pasene maua lunga i le lalo langi. A le tūlanga le na, o lo oma fai o na maua, o na o le ae e ama na ia, maaloa ia, e maaloa mai Universite mai atunu i whafo, i atato o fa ai longa. Fa ta i ta inga lao le MBA, o le ae e aloa ia e le EMPA, po o le fa ala potpotonga le a mo le a mata upu mai Australia. E ma fai la o na e a onga i nei sa moa, te le ta walu ese mai lo a inga ma o tua tua ngia fa ale lotu fa ale nuu. Ai a fai e te malanga ese atu e a loa ia lo fa ai longa mai le USP sa moa campus. Pe e nau nau le lotu, a oso o na fa ama mafa le USP, a e fa ama mafa o le sa moa. O le investe le a mo o tato o tangata nei sa moa. E ma fai o na maua la wa oa onga le maua i fafo. Ai maua la vai nei. O le si tu le ana pa i ai le sa anoa nga ai o te fia fa ama ma fafoi. O le aso fala i le le la asa u i le fa a unga le o le a fa a tino. O tu la nga ato fia ta a ua il fa a tino nga o so o se fa a unga. O le fa a au, o le chancellor. So o le ama le pro chancellor. O ia le o le ta i ta i fono, o le fono sili a le universite. O le ta u sanga la ale nei. O le ma fai o na malanga mai i a le o lo o ta i ta i a i a le fono sili. O le, o se etase o ta maali ima, o se ta i ta i fo i o le atu nu o Malisala, atu Malisala, Honorable Hilda Haina. E le o lava mai la, a e lea o le atu la i la le fionga i le ministra o a onga. Ono o ia le e avea ma sui o le maalo o sa mua i lea fono sili, e fa atino le atu langa. Le a sila sila i la i le aso, o le o le a fa a e e i a le ao, i le ao ma maalo o le maalo o sa mua. A e le a whaatino le a tūlanga, e le ministra o a onga. O se tūlanga e mimita, whaia e a e le loto. Ma whaafutai le a tūa. O ma whai o na tātou ola, i a mātou nei, so i fuolo o tōu pa i a malu mi malu. E moli mawina i a le a aso whaapitoa molo tātou a tunu. I o na tūlanga tau a onga. O le i tū le a i le ma whai o na a onga o... O so o se tasi e fia a onga li USP mai sa vai. E le e ma fai o na lava le faa mamafa. E to e faa mamafa ma to e faa iloa atupea. 
a wao le tū langa lea e ma whai ona whaatino ona o le tele o Paul Kalame e le ngata e tele ma ese ese Paul Kalame e whai ona o tau inai a e ma whai ona whai ona o ala te konolosi O le alawa a mataia se e tasi o Paul Kalame e fia fia te leita ngata o le professional diploma and business management. To a telele au whaile la whaa ul whaa unga le la asau le asu whalaile. A e peto o tolsu ful whaa, tolsu fulu lima, lewa a mata na a mata le asu nga fua. Ia a lata uva senga, fua fua mo le tau sanga fau e whaa u wai. Be a manuia. A e o le tua lua po le tua tolu, o la ea a unga mai se vai. Ele o le anga anga lava o le investe si si ile a fa'i o a vanoa o lo o maue o tātou tangata mo le fa'a waua o a onga. Be te a lala i sava'i, be te a lala i tua, le ua i ai a la fa'a te konolosi. Fe so o ta'i mai ai. Le a fa'i o tala noa le a fi o ngal polofe, se tū langa tau fa'a ma ma a venga. A wa o tātou uma lava i o le nei vaitau mo tua solo a o lo. So so o a lea maliu, malea maliu, malea maliu. Lea whaul whalenga, ma lea whaul whalenga. Watatala fo i a lava, ma watatala i fo il whaitu to'o fa alave lave. E whai ngu whia a lao na fetu unai, pe a awel whaataua, ma maua wa noa. Ole mela na o lea yo fo atu ala tato universite, whaatala noa. E le ma whai o na avatu se tau tonga, o le atalia u, ma lava taru sanga e tu ina mai. A e e au mai, ilo ilo fa alelei, o na maua lo la iho se fso suani, ma sa lo pau nao i tu, sa fia fa aso a tu ai, ai o le atata la atu loa, pea fai eni fisili mo le afio ngang polo fesa, so now we will move on to any questions that you may have. Professor, thank you for the opportunity. I'd just like to ask based on the social criteria of the Chancellor, why has the University chosen the FC? That's a, um, a decision that's made, uh, the rotation happens um, every year and it's done alphabetically. So it was our, our turn because the last chancellor came from New Way. His term finished on the 30th of June. And, uh, and then it's the, uh, the head of state who automatically then becomes the, the chancellor. No, it would have been the same case 12 years ago. But as I said, it's unique because for the first time, both the Vice Chancellor and the, chan the Chancellor are here. So how um, will such decision benefit the USB summer campus? The decision that the Chancellor is <clears throat> I think it's the prestige, I mean the honor. Uh, just imagine that you know, you're going to get your degree and once you're gonna receive it not from you know, somebody else, but you're gonna get it from the, the chancellor who's your head of state. I think there's a lot of pride in that. Uh, and you know, just the, the respect for that position, I think it adds so much in terms of stature for the university. And for the students, the pride for Samoan students. Uh, one of the things I forgot to say is that, of course, you know, for the first time we're going to have a PhD student graduating uh, on Friday. And, and just imagine that, you know, this person has so much pride that they wanted to get their degree on stage in Samoa because he knew that the uh, chancellor would be from Samoa. Mm -hmm. So there's a, a, people have a lot of attachment. You know, they want that, um, you know, the, the love for the country, the love for the, um, the institutions. I think that, that really is a very powerful symbol of, uh, of unity and a powerful symbol of uh, regionalism for us. Uh, look, that, that is a government decision. It's got nothing to do with the university. So, uh, you know, we, we will respect whatever, um, you know, the government tells us. But what if the, the, the um, Salon Parliament decide to change the head of state? Would that also change? Yeah, because it's, it's not the person per se, it's the institution. So it, it make no difference. 
I know this, there's been a lot of reports on the financial status of the university, and um, I believe um, an economist from Fiji has suggested that the solution for this <coughs> is to increase the, the fees for the students at the university. Would that be something you would consider? No, so what he is, <coughs> this is Wadhan Narsi, who wrote an article in the Fiji Times. And I actually gave an interview on Radio New Zealand where I responded to it. <clears throat> I think what Wadhan is saying in normal times, he's saying, look, why do we always have to worry about government grants? Because government grants are given to subsidize the fees of students. So Fiji's contribution is the largest because they have the single largest number of students. Uh, so what, um, what Wadhan is saying is, over time, the dependence on government grants has decreased and students are paying for their education, right? Even if they're sponsored by the government or if they are privately funded, funding their education. So he's saying we should just increase the fees and not worry about those subsidized subsidies and just go to a, a higher fee structure <clears throat> because that's fitting for a premier institution in, in the region. Now, I, I think if we were in a pre-COVID situation and COVID hadn't happened and the economies hadn't been affected the way they were, I might recommend to council that we should think about this option. But I think at this particular time when we know that so many of our economies are finding it difficult, so many of our people are finding it too diffi difficult to study and to find resources just for for other things, I think it would be very wrong for us to take that strategy. <clears throat> so, in short, I won't be recommending that to the council. I think until our economies are more robust and, and able to, uh, you know, um, to get back to pre-COVID, and as you know, uh, as tourism has begun already, we, you know, since borders open, economies are picking up. I think this is not the time. Uh, for, for that kind of solution. But it is, <clears throat> it is one option that the university could think about in the future. Professor, you talked about the expansion of the university in Salah. As you know, it's not quite a big campus in Salah. In, in the long term, do you have any plans to expand infrastructure there? And if you are going to expand infrastructure, how many students are you able to, like, able to enroll in Salah? <coughs> you know, um, we, uh, if, if we had more numbers, of course, we would expand more quickly. Uh, but we are working very closely with the government uh, to try and see how we can accommodate more students. And, and that's where we are at this moment. We're really trying to uh, find ways of which we can ex expand that particular center. <coughs> um, I think when I visited there four years ago, I probably would have wanted to uh, come home and cry uh, because it was in, in such bad shape. It's a real testament to our campus director and to uh, you know the people um, seated, seated behind you that they actually have made just a huge difference. I mean, they've actually physically gone there and done the hard work, done the painting themselves. They've you know they've they've really really changed it, and I think I'm just so proud of uh, of what they've done. Uh, actually, when I went there recently, uh, you know, with with the Minister for Education to look at the facilities, I in my head I still had it as if it was four years ago, and so it was a really really pleasant surprise. And everybody's sort of saying this is not as bad as you said it was. So so that just tells you how committed the staff of USP really are. You know, and they're committed to making sure that, that students in Savai have better opportunities. I, I think because students aren't studying non-stop 24 hours a day, there's a lot of capacity. People can come in and out, and we, uh, we encourage that sort of rotation. Um, how supportive is the government of Samoa in help assisting 
Oh, I think they're extremely supportive, and in, including uh, you know the assistance with expanding our survive facilities. Uh, you know, we're exploring that with them. Uh, they they have just been fantastic. I couldn't speak more highly of the support we have, and and Napo, I think that you know um, I, I expect even more support given that our chancellor is from Samoa. You know, the prime minister herself has had such a long association with this university. Uh, and, you know, I think, um, I think <clears throat> every time I've spoken to her, her love for the university comes through. And, you know, I think, uh, I think she's a real champ regional champion. So, so I expect that, you know, um, we will just grow from strength to strength. Feel too long, a lena ta, well, a matanga is a leta, or if I'm a muffle too long, or a low mool in a or a low moa sam, or a poor lava fisuia in a too long at a pufayo malo, or la la walunga, I finang a lo tai tai, or lay a fanga malo, malefanga malo, the luma naia or oino la tunu. Lono wing a lap, or wasuang alva atelea and a yai, a sawaletal, a langolango winna, a wa, or the luma naile or so say a tunu. Or the two la le le fo ina ta o mo mo i le ta mo fa inga le o savai o ai pe ona si la fia o le la la o le USP o lo i savai o lo o va va aluai i le mauta o le ofiso a onga le i le fale tusi o ina la le tu e au mai i lava i le ahta le o le ngalu lu e fa tas o le two langa fo i le na sao no i i le afio ngal polo fe sa o te loe le o le o mana o te le if I'm Taltala to a way, a sele, the lema, and a yapa to what to need Tala little no. I'll tie me neolo or talo, talo, matapuai, my fire filled tanga inga. Ya mo myself so swan ya while lena malalina. Ya, if I vial the talo to pay. Lena taya tato ila investi, if I pay for a statto what to no at all. I'll file out later while wow ma. It's tawana. Five fale lace a ton, five fale se four fwang. Along along with my last ma lo my fafo, my man, I tell it. I am a fire on a fat bear to watch this space. To a titiati no my yell to long alia, yon a fao for all your tato, ile o nangalia lao for survey. Well, we don't want to have it just lip service that what's good for Polo is good for survey. We want to actually put our money where our mouth is so that people actually see it. Um, Materializing, oh, so it's tangible and not just a lot of hot air. Hey, Siongi, they want to call the lady with the other man you are Ricky. Hey, Mama, get on the come on, me car. Oh, free, go in there. Oh, yeah, 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 Mama. Papa, you know, yeah, Ricky, me, Mama. Sing a little come on, oh, me, the bar, oh, 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 Kids find any opportunity to smile, and when they smile, so do we. At Colgate, we want every child in Samoa smiling. To all mums out there, encourage good brushing habits early on. It only takes you two minutes to teach your child how to brush twice a day for strong, healthy teeth. Come on, mums, it's you first. Start a healthy habit with Colgate today. Brush, brush.